we are kind of empty persons yeah. and it leads to a lot of frustrations amen and God loves us so much that he sent his only son, uh, son Jesus Christ here on earth to die let him die for our sins and and for our, our sicknesses and all negative which exists in this world and um, I mean God himself was in Christ I mean after three days we all know he resurrected and he stood up and went back to heaven amen. but he did this out of a deep love amen that's right. Everything in the kingdom of God, the motivation, attitude is to love. Amen. 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 Jesus, for example, when he was in the garden of Gethsemane, or Gethsemane, <laughs> sorry, my English is not perfect, I'm not American. <laughs> so when Jesus was there and, and Judah came with the Roman soldiers to capture him, and they asked him, or Jesus asked him, whom are you looking for? And they say, we are looking for Jesus of Nazareth. And Jesus said his name, his real name in Hebrew language. He said a name called like Yahweh. Yahweh. And all the soldiers fell down on earth. Right. That means because Jesus Christ on earth, he was God being in a human body. Amen. So of course, when God really speaks with authority, even in a human body, all people fell down. So Jesus... I tell you what, Jesus did not have to go to the cross of Calvary to save us from our sins and sicknesses. He did not have to do it. He could have chosen in this hour, yeah. he could have chosen to go back to heaven straight ahead yeah. without going to the cross. Amen. But he did not do it. And why did he not do it? Because he knew. Because he loves us so much. He loves every human on earth so much that he knew if he's not going to the cross, we all would go to hell forever. Yeah. So he chose, he was choosing out of his deep love to go to the cross and Amen. endure all the pain and suffering. Well, and he suffered, I think he, he's a man who suffered most of, in this world. He was full of pain and sickness and they beat him up so much. He, they, he, he, didn't, look like, he didn't look like a human anymore. So, and after, you know, if you know the story, he resurrected after three days and went back to heaven. So he did this because he loves us so much. And we as sons and daughters of God now, and I hope everybody is saved here, then if you're not saved, if you don't know Jesus Christ yet, today is your chance to get to know him. We really should also be thankful and be conscious about this. What, it, what Jesus really did for us out of a deep love. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's why I call this ministry Love of God Ministries International because proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom of God in all over the world it's also out of love because I personally do not want anybody to go to hell. Amen. That's what we should be. So the motivation also to preach the gospel should be the deep love of God. Amen. And yeah, this ministry is more based on outreaches. Uh, you probably know it is a crusade, for example, like international evangelism, bringing, as a preaching Christ to the people, to bring them into the kingdom of God. But also many times, also ministering in churches and maybe sometimes doing a seminar, also to help the people of God to mature a bit. Amen. More, hallelujah, which is very needed in our days Amen. because Jesus Christ will come back soon. Yes. And we need to walk closely with Jesus Christ if we want to get uh, taken up to heaven when he comes. Amen. Everybody Amen. should know when Jesus Christ comes back Amen. and we are still here, we're getting transformed and we're going to go up. That's right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, I, um, so don't walk far away from Jesus. I mean, he loves you so much. He wants to take you up to his heaven to be with him forever. Amen. Amen. So right now, we, I'm showing you a small, a short presentation movie of my ministry. And uh, just to let you know what we are doing around the world. Okay, let's start. <laughs> 